Hey guys, so an out of trailer reaction for the Terrifier 3. Okay, so it was the same as what you'd expect from Terrifier 1 and Terrifier 2. Terrifying. Yeah, lots of brutalness, um, crazy gore, um, but good storyline. Really enjoyed the storyline. I thought it was really good. The graphics were brilliant. Um, the gore was so good. It reminds me of like a early Tim Burton where they're like, really still trying to be realistic rather than using some sort of AI or computer or anything like that. It's like they're still trying to go for it in that sense and that's amazing. For the budget it was brilliant because I think it was a two million budget which is quite amazing. The quality of the camera it's like it's supposed to be retro so you get like a real retro feel of the movie so you feel like you're in the 80s or something or like an old. Do you remember when the Halloween movie came out with um, oh my goodness, oh, Jamie Lee Curtis and stuff. It's that kind of feel, it's like that kind of filming. And at first I thought, oh, you can see where the budget has gone. But then I thought, no, that's really clever because it just gives you that retro feel. And I really like that. Um, art is scary. And him being a Santa Claus just puts you off for Christmas for life. At the start, when it first started, and it was set at Christmas, I thought, oh, they missed a the trick. They should release this at Christmas time. No, never release this at Christmas time. It's not good. It's better near Halloween. It would have been great on Halloween. I would have loved that. But um, yeah, a release date in October is good. And as far away from Christmas as humanly possible. Because Christmas is all about light and gentle and kind. This film is none of the above. It's really gruesome. And it kind of puts you off Santa Claus for life. Um, art dressed as Santa feels kind of sacrilege. So yeah, that's good. And it gave me that weird feeling at the pit of your stomach that I got when I first watched the first one. When I watched the first one, I didn't sleep. I was scared. And it gave me a weird feeling. The second one, not so much. The second one was my favourite. But some of the best scenes from all three are in the second. But still not my favourite movie um, out of the three is weird um the third gave me that weird feeling again though but as in it's wrong to do that to christmas so I, I did and i've been thinking about it since i've got home so i think it did work in that way but um yeah spooky spooky movie oh no not spooky it's not scary it's gory it's um it's art being art and he is hilarious at times. We had people full-blown laughing their heads off. Seen in the pub when he meets Santa for the first time. Because Art's very expressive. He's very much this. So, yeah. So, when he sees Santa, it's quite hilarious. But then what he does to Santa is never hilarious. Um, Yeah. A bit confusing at the start. Um, Did the girl live? Um... Why was there a homeless woman on the subway and did he do anything to her? Why did he put the copper's head on his body and then it wasn't there when we went to the psychiatric ward? They little things I was like, well, why do it in the first place if you're not going to continue on and keep the head on? So a few bits I was like, hmm, weird. But there's going to be definitely a fourth, one million percent, because what happened to Gabby? We need to know. We need to know. And I'll be there for the fourth. And um, obviously the main girl, she was fantastic again. She's just brilliant actress. And I'm guessing she's the Sydney of this whole um, film genre. So she's going to be the new Sydney. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I really, really did enjoy it. It was really good. But it's put me off Christmas. And I'm so glad it's way before Christmas so that I can get back into Christmas. It could destroy. It could destroy your Christmas mood. Definitely. But anyway, I do recommend it. If you loved one and two, you're going to love number three. So go for it. If you haven't seen one or two, I suggest you watch it before you go see number three. Because it could be an eye-opener for you. And um, yeah, my husband said, it's all right. And he said, it's not as much as one and two. And I said, it's because we're desensitised. We're used to art now. Nothing he can do can freak us out. So yeah, we've desensitised ourselves to art. But anyway, um, yeah, that's my out of um, theatre reaction. I hope you enjoyed. And if you go see it, let me know what your thoughts are. And I'll catch you on another. Bye, Ron.